Peace of Christ to all as usual. Uh, as, as you know, that's what we do in here. We expose the liars and we corner them. So let us corner the one who called himself Zechariah. And by the way, if there's any Muslim, uh, I posted a video before changing him to debate me. The coward, he backed down. He stepped down. He did not dare to do it. If any Muslim, you have connection with this guy, ask him why he is afraid from doing such a debate. If he is going to win anyway. Hmm? Uh, they try to impress you that they memorize things. Memorizing doesn't mean you understand it. and doesn't mean that you can really give answers. And this, this is the proof. This guy, he do not know anything. He memorized things. And always he gave wrong, even explanation for his own book. But today we are going to speak about a different topic, which is uh, women in the Bible and women in the Quran. So let us hear what Zachariah he have to say. And then we will give him the answer he deserves. Chapter 3, verse number 16, it states that the God of the Bible it is saying, Unto the woman you shall bear in conception, and sorrow shall you give birth, and a desire shall be of your husband, and he shall rule over you. That means pregnancy and childbirth has been said in the Bible to degrade the woman. And the labor pain is a sort of punishment. In fact, if you read the Quran... Shut up. Just wait. Before we go to the Quran, and then we will expose you in the Quran. And then right away we will show, we will show people that you are a joker. You do not know what you are talking about. Your book and our book. Uh, when a Muslim, he quote a verse from the Bible trying to make it that the Bible is, uh, uh, is blaming the women for the sin of Adam. Uh, and only the women. The fact it is Islam who do that, not the Bible. And we will show you this. But before we go there, let us go and read the chapter which he is quoting from, and you will see the chapter is God is punishing both Adam and Eve and blaming both Adam and Eve and punishing even Satan for what he did to Adam and Eve. It was not only for... Uh, both are punished. Both are kicked out of heaven. And both they suffer, and both the punishment is death. Why a human being in Christianity he died because of sin? They've been brought to heaven to live forever because of their sin. Both they die. Not only Eve she die and Adam he don't. So the woman she is going to give birth, uh, according to uh, Zach and Nag, that this was a punishment for Adam for for uh, uh, for Eve. Uh, but why you don't read the verse after? Why you don't read the verse after after? Because it's very clear that the Bible, the God of the Bible is punishing both and he is treating them equally actually because both they are going to suffer each one in different way based on their nature. And uh, not only that, the, the God of the Quran himself, he blame Eve for the sin of Adam. When the God of the Bible, he don't. It is Adam who blame Eve. But God did not agree that it is, she is the fault and the punishment he punished Adam. He did not punish Eve and says, oh, you are the reason so he is guilty, he is he's not guilty, he is your victim. He punished him bo both, which means both of you are guilty and you have no excuse, Adam, for saying, oh, I listened to my wife because she did that. And now we will play for you what the verse in the Bible is saying and then we will show you what the Quran is saying about this story. And then you will see that this guy is an idiot, he's a joker, he's a businessman trying to make money. You know, uh, I can imagine uh, 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 Zach and Naik when he was young. I think he maybe he used uh, to carry bags in the street. He had no jobs. He had nothing to do. And he found that this is the best business to make money, to fool those Muslims. And the proof is how you can teach when you yourself don't have knowledge about our book, about your book. And we will prove it. Let us go. And he said, who told thee that thou wast naked? Hast thou eaten of the tree whereof I commanded thee that thou shouldest not eat? And the man said, The woman whom thou gavest to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle, and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. And 
I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. And unto Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for thy sake. In sorrow shalt thou eat of it all the days of thy life. Thorns also, and thistles shall it bring forth to thee, and thou shalt eat the herb of the field. In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread, till thou return unto the ground. For out of it wast thou taken, for dust thou art, and unto dust shalt thou return. So it's very obvious that this guy, he was lying. Uh, the, the Bible speak about both of them to be guilty, and both of them to be punished, and both of them, they are going to suffer death, and each one of them is going to have a duty. You women, you are going to be give birth, and you will suffer with your birth. And you, Adam, you are going to suffer feeding those children. You will eat the dirt. You will fa your face will, 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 will go down in the mud. You are going to live in sorrow. So the sorrow was not only for the women. The sorrow was for Adam too. He is going to suffer big time for agreeing to eat from so both both they got punished and both and and there is nowhere it says that you are more uh, more sin more than him or you are a victim and she is the guilty both are guilty both are punished both are uh, suffered both they got through the same thing uh, now uh, someone might say okay but uh, but God he made the women get a bread net uh, well uh, you know I believe that uh, the, the story in here uh, it's not it's not really uh, just about women getting bread net because all of us we know that the, the creation of the women was from the beginning to be a woman and the woman was created in a certain way which able her to give birth but what the what the punishment in here that you will suffer the punishment is to suffer not about to be bread net because if uh, if, a, if a woman get a Britain and there is no suffering in here, uh, what a big deal, you know. But in here, the punishment is you will be suffering, not about. So um, so the question is, do both suffer, or only one person suffer? If we read together, you will see that both they are going to live in sorrow, both are going to be perished by death, both are going to face sickness and illness, and both and actually the man he is the one have to support the women. So the woman, she, she, she became uh, uh, like a, a, a duty on him. It's not for her benefit. It was for, for uh, uh, like a, uh, a reward for her too. It was a punishment for Adam in the same time, which means she was not rewarded to be, uh, the man have to provide her. It was a punishment for both that the man is the one is going to be in charge to, to, to feed her, to take care of her. This is your wife, and you are in charge, and I left you in charge. And look what you did. You could not uh, stay with the truth. You could not follow my orders. And your excuse is my wife, she told me. So I want to show you that this is not an excuse. So both of you are going to be punished, and both they punished. Now I want to show you the same story exactly exists in the Muslim books. And let me start with the same exact story from the book of Al-Qurtubi. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, as always we use. And this is the interpretation of chapter 2, verse number 35. We will go to uh, uh, explanation of Al-Qurtubi, and we will, find, uh, we will find this surprise. According to Muhammad, reported by Ibn Musayyab, from who? Well, all the story is coming from Muhammad. That Adam, he ate. He ate the apple 
after Eve, she made him drink wine. Here we go, the, the fantasy of Islam now. You know, there's wine and khamar, and there's uh, Pepsi, and there's uh, Seven Up, and there's beer. So she made him drink wine. So after he became a drunk, and when he was unaware, huh, she made him eat the fruit. What we see in here, uh, Eve is not only doing what Satan is doing, she is being evil. She decided uh, to, to drunk her husband, according to the story in Islam, and she make him a drink until he loses his mind so she, she will make him uh, do what she wants. And you know what, just to show you, uh, I'm, not, I'm not making things up. I'm going to copy and take it to Google and paste and translate it in front of you. This is Google translation in front of you. Here we go. Arabic to English. But after Adam ate, uh, the translation here wrong, Eve gave him wine and made him drunk until he lost his mind. So he just told us that the, 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 the uh, Islamic religion don't blame uh, Eve for the sin of Adam when the fact is the opposite. And let me show you more strong proof. And if we continue reading in the same page, in the same interpretation of the Quran coming from their prophet, because where the scholars of Islam get their, their knowledge from? It's from their prophet. Nobody have knowledge of Islam except Muhammad. He is the first teacher. They are saying here, the, the, the snake was cursed and this is why Allah, he made the legs of the snake go inside her belly. Which means she will suffer the snake when she, uh, she cannot walk with her legs no more because uh, Allah made the legs go inside, according to the story. And he made the intimate enmity between Adam and the snake and this is why he ordered Adam to kill the snake. Well, isn't this what the Bible was saying a second ago? That there's enmity between you and the snake and you kill the snake and she kill you? And look what he continues saying. And this is not my words, remember in here. I'm not, I'm not uh, making words for my own. And then Allah, he said to Eve, uh, because, and because you made the, the, the tree bleed, because you made the tree bleed, I will make you bleed. For this reason, you will bleed too every month. And you are going to give birth and you get, you know, and you get a bread net, which you hate, which means it's a punishment. And you die many times. So he multiplied the death of, of Eve. But he just told us this does not exist in the Quran. And this does not exist in Islam. And you know what? I will take the text as it is in the front of your eyes. And I will copy it. And I will take it to Google Translation. And you read with me what the Google Translation is saying. Here we go. Copy. So because you made the tree uh, uh, bleed, I'm, I'm going to make you bleed too. I'm going to make you uh, uh, get, give birth. I'm going to make you uh, uh, bleed every month. And uh, this is a punishment for you. And, and, and you will die many times. And the liar, he said, this does not exist in Islam. Follow with me with more videos. From the mouth of Muhammad himself. Let us read. This is Sahih al-Bukhari, the book of prophets. What Muhammad said, read with me. The Prophet said, but for the Israelis, meat would, uh, would not decay, and, and but for Eve, wives would never betray her, their husbands. So what Muhammad say in here, that he blame any woman who betray her husband, that it, she is doing the same as Eve. And that means that even Muhammad in here is approving the original sin, because he's saying that all sin goes to back to who? Not to Adam, as a Christian believe. Go back to Eve because you will never hear Christians saying the sin of Eve. They say the sin of Adam. This is what all the Christian teaching is about. The sin of Adam. We don't say the sin of Eve. But in here what we see Muhammad doing, we showed you the story that Muslims believe that uh, Eve, she made Adam drunk and she made him eat from the tree, which means she is the devil one. She is the evil one. And in here you will see Muhammad is putting in the one category, the Jews, which he the most he hate, and the women. Why, why beef is going to be damaged? Because of the Jews. And why women they betray their husband? Because of Eve. So in Islam, the only one to blame for evil is Eve and only Eve. Time is up, uh, but we will make more videos to expose this liar.